Hi everyone, this is Sahil Malhotra, Principal Attorney at Drishi Law, an intellectual property law firm. Today, as a continuation of my trademark application process series, I want to talk about office actions. What is an office action? An office action is an official notice written by a USPTO examining attorney that can require minor revisions or apply legal rejections to the applicant's mark. For example, a minor application edit could be requesting a disclaimer or clarifying the description of goods and services. A legal rejection could be a likelihood of confusion refusal because the applied for mark is similar to an already registered trademark. The examining attorney can require a written response or a quick correspondence through email or phone to resolve issues related to the application. An applicant must be aware of the deadlines associated with the office action as a failure to file or the response on time can lead to the abandonment of the application. Now, as I just mentioned, there are deadlines related to the office action. The deadline to respond to an office action is six months from the date it is issued. But a new rule that goes into effect on December 3rd, 2022 will shorten the response deadline to three months from when the office action is issued. There are two types of office actions, a non-final and a final office action. A non-final office action is precisely what it claims to be. It usually includes minor issues raised for the first time. A written response or correspondence with the examining attorney is usually enough to resolve these issues. The examining attorney might issue a new office action if the response to the original office action brings up new legal issues. If the response is inadequate, the examining attorney will provide an opportunity to clarify but will probably issue a final office action. A final office action is issued when an examining attorney determines that the previous responses to raised issues have been inadequate. It is the last opportunity for the applicant to provide a response that will overcome the legal objections to the application. A successful response will allow your application to move forward to publication in the official trademark gazette. Suppose the applicant's argument against the office action doesn't satisfy the examining attorney. In that case, the applicant can appeal the decision to the trademark trial and appeal board or the application will be abandoned. Always remember to have the appropriate party sign the office action response. In addition, be mindful when writing the response and address each legal problem raised or the answer will be considered incomplete. An incomplete response can lead to the issuance of a final office action. The trademark registration process is time consuming and currently filed office action responses can be pivotal to the trademark registration process. If there are any questions I can answer regarding office actions or assist you in your trademark registration process, please click the link below to book an appointment. As always, this is Sagal Malotra and thank you for watching.